greed, the longing to have something which I don't have. Why have I, you heard me speak so much against registries? Baby showers, wedding showers, where I ask people I'm, to receive a gift is perfectly okay. Jesus received gifts. You read that in Luke chapter 8. But to ask people, give me this, give me that, give me that. This is what registries are all about. And amazing, amazing that Christians, all types of Christians in every denomination do it. And this is about the only church where anybody's ever spoken against it. Do you believe Jesus would send out registries asking people to give me this gift, give me that gift, give me that? And if he's particularly, uh, let Joseph of Arimathea know, I need an expensive robe. He's a rich man. And particularly when you're in a church like Silicon Valley, you can expect big gifts from, because a lot of rich people here. And so you make the wedding registry full of a whole lot of things, expensive things. You would not do that in a poor village in India. This is 100% greed, G-R-E-E-D. There's no other word for it. Now I'll tell you what greed is. Verse five, idolatry. There is no difference between the greedy man and that Hindu man who worships idols. Zero difference. That chap worships a physical idol, this chap worships gifts from others. There's no difference. That's what the Bible says. From today onwards, I want to encourage you, consider greed as idolatry. When you're wanting what you do not have, when you're wanting somebody else to give you what you don't have, that is idolatry. It's falling down before an idol and saying, oh, idol, I worship you. You are my God. Have you done it? We have all done it in the past in one way or the other.